My name's Vinny. I'm from the Grow Wild team at Q, and um, it's a fantastic opportunity to talk to you because this program is about prioritising uh, engaging young people between the ages of 12 uh, to 25 um, with UK wildflowers. And it, in many senses, it really is in its infancy. It really is in its infancy. So uh, it's great to get your feedback today as part of this programme. What we understand so far, the numbers are high and the timelines are very tight. But what are the aims of the programme? Well, we're going to engage people with UK wildflowers. We're going to raise awareness of biodiversity and the fact that we're actually losing it. And we're going to give them something actually to do about this, something they can do about that. Unfortunately, we do have £10.5 million from the big lottery to do that, which is great. So, the ambition. Well, the ambition is high. The ambition is reaching out to almost half the UK population. That's 30 million people UK-wide via a huge media and digital presence. And uh, not only that, but four million of those people will be young people. That's people in the age range between 12 and 25. So it's going to be exciting, it's going to be thrilling, it's going to be different. Three million of them, we want to take direct action. Direct action being voting for a project, nominating a project, designing a project, being part of a project to do with UK wildflowers and biodiversity. And we want to achieve too many actual plantings. Obviously, we're not going to do a project without actually planting something on the ground and doing something about biodiversity. And we're going to be handing out the majority of a million free planting kits as part of this programme. So the audience, as I've already mentioned, prioritising 12 to 25-year-olds. But we're not going to forget members of the community and voluntary organisations. We must have a cost-generational flavour within that as well. And obviously the numbers are high, 30 million. And therefore, adults interested in the environment, organisations interested in the environment, are going to help combine that and bring that together. So why is it important? Why is it important to do this programme? Well, we've mentioned it's about engaging people in UK wildflowers, biodiversity loss, and to do something about it. A couple of statistics. Firstly, around habitat, only 3% at of UK species rich meadows remain since the 1930s. So a huge loss on habitat where UK wildflowers, native wildflowers grow. Of the 1,000, that's very specific, of the 1,756 UK native vascular plants, one in five are critically endangered, endangered or vulnerable to extinction. And UK wildflowers are a significant percentage of that. But this is about people and nature. And therefore, we are about engaging young people. Engaging young people in biodiversity issues. Our approach is to gain an understanding that biodiversity is important to their future. We will be working with organisations, organisations who work with young people, who work in deprived areas, and we will be getting our message across. And we're going to give them something positive to do about that. As I said, one thing is we will be handing out the majority of one million planting kits for free. But how does it work? How on earth does that all work? As I said, it's in its infancy, but we do have a positive and exciting framework. First of all, we're going to have four flagship projects across the UK. That's one flagship project in each country across the UK. Each project is going to be designed to create a real buzz around Grow Wild. It's going to be innovative and we want a significant population to be involved in those projects. The great thing about that is that there's going to be a nomination by the public for those sites and also we hope it's going to be voted for on television as well. 
We're also going to have community engagement programmes throughout the UK, 160 sites prioritising young people, 12 to 25 year olds, working with them to make a local impact and working with them to make it a cross-generational programme. And we really hope that this will be also the crux, working in urban areas, deprived communities, rurally deprived communities, but really targeting also that young audience. We can't do this without support. It's a Q programme, it's a mass audience programme, but we will be working with supported programmes with large organisations across the UK. And a lot of people who've got a lot of expertise are working with young people. And this is where it comes to yourselves. We really want you to be a part of this programme. It sounds interesting, sounds something that you're doing, sounds something you want to be part of, then please do get in contact with us. We'd love you to be part of it. Obviously, with the capacity and time, we are been partnering with large umbrella organisations. But it won't stop you from contacting me directly. And I can talk it over with you and see if it's something that's a natural fit that you can be part of. We'll also be working with a retail partner. Well, how does that work? Well, basically, we're going to have planting kits which will actually go through a retail partner out to the public. So those people who may have taken part in the programme, may have seen it on television, can actually go out and purchase for a, a, a small fee a, a planting kit of their own. And within that planting kit, they can get all the delights that we're going to give them and access to um, a suite of assets, real content that experts of Q have put together as part of a digital format, which will be ever-changing. We can't get anywhere without a big digital presence and a big digital community. And we aim to have that in the sense, through our planting kits, you'll have access to register, to go online and use all the content that we can give access to expert knowledge and advice, but also to be part of a large social network for the programme as well.